Hi, welcome back to the channel. So, um, we've moved on to another battalion now, so I painted these in the last week or so. And these are my Hungarian Grenadiers. So, I just put at the back of these the Hungarians that I showed you last time. Okay, or the time before last. So, I painted these up uh, a while ago, during Easter. And uh, now, I'm moving on to the bad boys of the, uh, the Hungarians, the Grenadiers. Now, these, I think, could be considered probably to be the elites of the... Um, Austrian army, you know the Hungarian troops pretty good troops anyway, and the Grenadiers are the best of the Hungarians um, And so we are talking about the elites and I, I love these guys. I absolutely love the sculpts from piano war games uh, from Lucas Luber and uh, I just think they look absolutely fabulous, and I really hope that I've um, Done them justice. I'm gonna just gonna adjust the camera slightly to give me a better angle. Okay so yeah Grenadiers. So I've done the Grenadiers in two um, different colours. So as I said before, um, a Grenadier battalion was basically made up of two or three different regiments. So this this one is uh, a poppy red colour on the facings. Hopefully you can see that. It's not too dark. Um, poppy red colour on the facings. And this is basically the... Um, if I just find it... Um, Baron de Vins, okay, um, and he was, uh, uh, I think he was Baron of Affenberg in 1802 and then Wiedenfeld in 1808. So this is his regiment, okay, with the poppy red. And then the yellow, pull out a guy with the yellow facings, they are the um, Ertz... Erzherzog Ferdinand, okay, um, and they are belonging to that regiment, so they are in kind of yellow facings. Now, this is the same regiment as the um, line troops, the Hungarian line troops. So I've got men from that regiment, from the Erzherzog Ferdinand regiment, Field Marshal Erzherzog Ferdinand. And uh, obviously they're from this regiment and they've joined the Grenadier Battalion. Okay. So I hope you can see that okay. It looks a little dark on my camera, but maybe it's just the light. It's raining again here, so <laughs> the, the colour's not that great. Okay. So, a little look at that. So as with all these um, figures, they, they basically come from war games, um, piano war games in packs of... Six, okay. I think Lu Lucas is considering doing army packs as well. He was kind of doing a little poll um, online on the Facebook group as to whether people would buy them in larger groups, and I would. I certainly would. Okay. So um, let's take a look at a couple of others. So we've got the uh, drummer. Okay, Some drummer. I just I can't get over how good these are these 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 models I can't if I could afford to I'd kit my entire army out with uh, piano war games miniatures. Okay, oh there we go, that's a bit better. Bring the light into view. Okay. Um, sounds like a drummer. So he is of the. Uh, He's of the Baron de Vins regiment, okay, and the uh, standard bearer. So these guys have got the uh, the lead fane, again, yeah, the lead fane, um, the lead flag, okay, with the Virgin Mary on the back, okay. Now, as I said before in a different video, um, the lead fane was kind of passed around a little bit. It was the, the prestigious flag in the in the um, brigade, okay, or in the regiment in the regiment, and it was carried by the either the first battalion of the line or one of the grenadier battalions. So I've given a, I've given a leave feint to both of my grenadier battalions, 
so far and I'm actually considering at the moment do I put the Grenadiers in with a line brigade or do I put the Grenadiers in together in a uh, single brigade so, um, so a Grenadier brigade basically which Black Powder allows you to do I don't know if it's historically realistic there you go uh, and a captain not 100% happy how he came out. He was a little bit fiddly, but not too bad. <laughs> okay. Um, so. And uh, one thing I really like about these is you, you do get a couple of... Um, a couple of sergeants. or I don't know if they were sergeants back then. If they were sergeants or sergeant majors. The guys are basically to keep the line in check keep the line straight keep them in good order with their little sticks prod sticks so I put these guys at the ends of the line okay and finally the uh, sapper with his axe there he is I like the fact he's not got a bayonet on his rifle sapper ready to smash down anything that he gets in the way of the battalion I'm not 100% I mean as I say I'm only just getting into the battalion so I'm not sure if they only had one sapper with the battalion or a couple of sappers or the sappers actually worked on their own in a another a different unit so but there's one with every battalion I have at the moment at least uh, with the Hungarians, any anyway. Um, so that is it, basically. The Hungarians, the Hungarian Grenadiers are here. Um, they're ready. I finish those. Let me just bring you down a little bit closer. Give you a little line, a little look across the line. Now, um, as I said before, I'm uncertain at the moment as to how I'm kind of basing these. I'm basing them all individually at the minute. That's because I was kind of thinking about different types of rule sets to use them. And I've got far too many for sharp practice now. <laughs> it would be a massive sharp practice game if I use these. Um, obviously, General Dame 2 is out now as well. So I'm going to be using these for that. And, of course, Black Powder as well. So I'm basing them in... I'm basically putting them in units of 24 at the moment. The battalions are 24. And the line I was putting in battalions of 30. Um, because 24 is a standard unit for grenadiers in black powder. And 30 is a standard, is a large unit for um, line in black powder. So the grenadiers tend to be in standard units. And the uh, line troops in large units. Or so I've read. Okay. <coughs> so this is basically what they are, or the size they are at the moment. They look quite nice on the movement bases, but... It is a bit fiddly trying to use movement bases. I think I'd rather they were in groups of four or maybe 40 by 40 mil bases. But I'm still thinking about it. Um, so, I've got Black Powder coming up in June. Playing in that um, tournament. Uh, it's not a tournament, sorry. So the game day, game weekend uh, at Boards and Swords. And then a couple of days ago, booked my ticket for CrackCon 5. Uh, boards and swords again which is in october and i've put put my name down for the general dame 2 game up to uh crack on uh crack on five and um well i'm not sure if um i can't remember who's running it uh sorry mate <laughs> i've forgotten your name but uh basically i'm not sure if he's got his own um, Napoleonics for it or if we can bring our own army so I'm going to use my straight Austrians for that okay so they're going to they're going to work with a you know General Dame um, army as a uh, game um, a few months after we play the black powder game okay so where am I at the minute just to finish off I'll just spin you around if you don't mind over to the painting table and we started the cavalry all right, so finally um, put together and uh, 
primed the horses and now I'm just starting the cavalry okay so I'm gonna do um, cuirassiers first these are Perry's okay so I'm gonna do cuirassiers first which is why I painted the horses um, very very dark brown almost black because black of the dark of the horse apparently the more prestigious and aggressive it's considered to be um, and see this will be my first cuirassier regiment um, and then I've got a couple more boxes so I'll do um, uh, what were they called <laughs> Chavalagere was it called hang on let me have a quick look so uh, you know completely new to this what are they called again they're called the yeah Chavalagere I was right the first time and um, and also the uh, Dragoons, okay, so light dragoons and heavy dragoons basically. So, Crassiers, light dragoons, heavy dragoons, and I think I've got a couple of boxes of hussars as well. Okay, so taking you back over, oh, yeah, I've also got um, some more Jaegers to paint and another battalion of um, grenadiers to paint as well. So, grenadiers, another um, battalion of Jaegers and um, cavalry and then I've got a couple of boxes of Perry's line troops as well I'm going to be painting those up as well okay so there you go I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of an update seeing where I am at the minute and it's progressing nicely now you're probably thinking oh it's been um, about 11 days since you posted well yeah I'm back at work now unfortunately so uh, you know it's going to be a bit slower now but I will keep you updated. I'll take you all the way up to June. All right, you can follow along and, and see what I've got up to. If you're into Napoleonics, if you're an expert, okay, if anybody is and wants to give me some advice on Austrians or Black Powder or General Dame 2, especially the unit sizes, quite happy to have a chat in the comments. You know, I'd like to kind of open it up a little bit. Um, as I kind of start and carry on with this journey into Napoleonics. Right, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe uh, if you're enjoying the videos and I will catch you on the next one. Have a good evening and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.